and welcome to Business Spotlight. Today my guest is uh, going to talk to you about, or actually we're going to talk about learning how to play guitar. Hey, let me ask you something. Have you ever tried to learn how to play guitar? I mean, for me, it was so tough. But today my guest has the solution for everybody that's from a 14-year-old to a 85 year old that wants to learn how to play or better yet wants to learn how to play better. Brad Barnes of Brad Brad Barnes presents. He's got a solution for teaching you how to learn how to play guitar. I'm so thankful because as you can see he's got quite the skills that he's going to share with you some of the keys to how he can take you from beginner all the way through to the advanced level of playing guitar. So glad that Brad Barnes is going to be here in just one second. Brad, thank you so much. Take a chair. Brad, I, I will tell you, my guest today, I've, I've, I've seen him in action, I've seen his work, and I'm so thrilled that you guys are going to have the opportunity to learn more about what Brad Barnes has to, to offer. Brad, thanks for being on the show. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having me, Pat. I want to get into your story, Brad. How did you get started with guitar? Well, uh, Pat, I actually got started with bass and orchestra in, uh, in seventh grade. And everyone in my school district had uh, started playing, uh, if they were in orchestra, in like fourth grade. So I had kind of a, a handicap there. But after only playing uh, for about two months, my teacher uh, liked what I was doing and then asked me to audition for district orchestra, uh, which I did, and, uh, and actually made it, uh, you know, competing uh, against you know, far more experienced players. And at that point, I knew that I could uh, learn a musical instrument. I knew I could learn it fast. Um, but I kind of took my success for granted. I was playing football at the same time, and, uh, and bass wasn't quite the right instrument for me. So at the end of seventh grade, I went ahead and, and stopped playing an orchestra. But that Christmas, uh, I, my grandparents had gotten me a guitar instead of a bass. I still don't know why they did that. However, uh, a couple of years later, I kind of started looking at that guitar and I was like, you know, I think that's the right instrument for me. And so uh, I started focusing on guitar uh, quite a bit. I would go to the local music stores and I would pick uh, any guitar teacher's brain that uh, would give me the time of day. And I would uh, read every book that was there that I could get my hands on, on music theory and guitar and fretboard theory and all that stuff. And I just, uh, I just was obsessed with it. But I, got, uh, uh, I kept running into roadblocks uh, with these teachers because they didn't really either know what they were doing or sometimes they just didn't want to tell me how to do things because they just didn't want me to know the, the secrets of things. So they didn't want you to get the insider secrets. They did not. And, but I was determined to get it anyway. So I wound up uh, um, leaving high school at age 16 so I could start college as a music major, which was one of the best decisions I'd ever made. Uh, because finally, I was sitting with these teachers that really did know what they were doing. Everything was kind of was broken down into, into logical uh, format. Uh, however, I had to take you know, pieces from here and there and everywhere else in that experience and to be able to, uh, to put together my own concept on how to learn guitar and how all these pieces fit together so that uh, a student can, it's called a, a pedagogy or a method of study, so that you can uh, have uh, one thing logically lead to the next so that you can build kind of a comprehensive uh, guitar playing uh, style. Right, and so. so you've actually developed a program now that takes you from what? Beginner all the way so through an, an intermediate to mm -hmm. advanced. That's exactly right, Pat. And I, that's, uh, there's three sections to this, uh, uh, to this series, the beginning section, uh, the intermediate section, and the advanced section. And the beginning section is exactly that. You don't have to know anything to, uh, to be able to, to do the beginning stuff. And uh, I even try to, to make sure that there's a, a section on there to be able to describe what all the parts of the guitar are and, and the amplifier and to go into to detail of, uh, of what everything is called and, and what it does so that you can not only learn how to play, but you can talk to your friends about it. You can go to the music store. You can be part of the guitar conversation. And uh, as well as obviously learning how to play all the, the, the open chords and how to switch between them and some, uh, some bar chords. But uh, the biggest thing, Pat, that I really try to include in this is how do you practice? Because guitar, any type of a skill like this, is cumulative. That means that you have to, to progress just a little bit at a time every day uh, in order to, to get there. And you have to have confidence that what you're doing is, is going to work for you because it's going to take you a little time before you really see those results. So I really focus on uh, to make sure that the people at home knew exactly what they were doing uh, when they're practicing, how to troubleshoot if the notes aren't coming through, and to make sure that they had confidence that they were going to, to be able to develop the skill while practicing at home. 
That is awesome. Well, I know that you you've been you've been actually playing guitar for what uh, uh, 23 years. 23 years, and but training others for mm -hmm. 14, and you have several. Exactly. Uh, success stories. I know that. Uh, I mean, you have you have one guy that's that's touching the nation as a guitar player, uh, winning awards and things of that nature. I, I do have a, a one student, uh, a guy named Josh Good, that has won two Emmys for doing music for television uh, thus far, and has been uh, has done soundtracks and has actually has just a, a laundry list of uh, of good things that he's uh, he's done with with guitar and. Uh, I've had a, a student that's actually uh, in high school that took my teaching methods, a lot of the things that are on the intermediate series, uh, that, um, and over about a, a four-year period, uh, I had taught this, uh, this person to where uh, he not only took these songs and, uh, and, and wrote these songs that were, that were excellent, but then had won a contest with his band to go perform at the, the NAMM show in Frankfurt, Germany, playing music that he had written with uh, things that I had taught him, which I was you know, very proud of him. That is, that is really incredible. I'm so excited about the different things that you're actually going to bring to the table. Mm -hmm. As we go through this show today, folks, we're going to have three other segments where we're going to talk more about exactly what is involved in this training program. What is uh, the real takeaway from a beginner through the intermediate, through all the way to the advanced level? So the idea is, is that Brad Barnes at Brad Barnes Presents will literally take you from practicing in your garage to standing on any stage that you want. It's that comprehensive. And we're really thankful that you're watching because this show will really help you understand the, the real principles of how to be successful once you know exactly where you're going. Now, one of the things that I, I do want to make sure is that you know how to get a hold of Brad. Brad, it, 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 we just go to Brad at Brad Barnes Presents? Uh, yes, exactly. Go to bradbarnespresents.com, and that'll take you right to my website. Uh, it'll lead you uh, right through exactly where to, uh, uh, how to, to purchase the program. Uh, it's very simple, and I guarantee you, once you do it, you will not regret it. I, I completely agree. I've seen the, the first part of this, the, the, and I just want you to say, I want to say, you'll love it. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back to Business Spotlight. My guest today is Brad Barnes at bradbarnespresents.com. He's talking about his program on how to learn how to play guitar. Brad, I want to get into what would somebody uh, get out of this program? What are they, what are they really being, um, what are you delivering, I guess is what I'm trying to find out. Well, the, this is a very comprehensive and detailed program, Pat. Uh, from the beginning to the intermediate section to the, the advanced, it covers uh, quite a bit. The intermediate section alone is about nine hours in length. So I really tried to answer all these different questions for, for guitar players of all different levels. Now, this is not style specific. This is not teaching someone how to play country or how to play folk or how to play R&B or how to play jazz. Um, although I do have sections uh, here and there that do tackle some speci uh, specific styles. But for the, the most part, it's about uh, how anyone from any style can build their skill set so that they can then tackle the specifics of their styles or learning the songs that they want to learn. Ex excellent. So if you were to look at, like we've got a slide on the beginner guitar, okay? And when we put that up there, but why don't you talk a little bit about what, what they would get just in the beginning phases. Okay, the beginning phase is, uh, is just you know, what it's titled, uh, for beginners. Now, uh, uh, that means that if you know nothing, or maybe you just know a little bit, maybe you started to play guitar, uh, or maybe that you used to play guitar, but you really need to get all these basics back together, then this program is for you, Pat. Uh, and uh, what I mean by that is we're tackling like open chords, and how to switch between open chords, and, and to make sure that you can do so smoothly. Uh, how to count, how to tap your foot while you're playing, how to play along with a metronome, how to keep strumming patterns. Uh, how to, uh, to play bar chords, how to play your first song, uh, also how to tune a guitar, how to change strings, uh, all those basic things like that. Also where the notes are on the guitar. <laughs> very good. Uh, even in the beginning section, I think that that's something that's very important for you to be able to, to know. And of course, uh, terminology and to know what everything is called and to really get comfortable and familiar with the whole kind of guitar culture a little bit. I imagine that there's a, a lot of students that as they begin to get into this, um, they can go at their own pace, can't they? 
Oh, absolutely. That's one of the great things about having a, a video series is that you can uh, stop the DVD, you can, uh, you can back it up, you can watch it as many times as you want. You can play right along with me and wait until you finally get to, you know, to where you can uh, play right along with me, which is something that I wanted to, to do when I filmed it. I want to make sure that people could copy exactly what I was doing. While you're doing it. Exactly. And everything you were showing a few minutes ago, those are things that you actually go over in the, in the program. Now granted, that's probably in the advanced section. Right. Uh, <laughs> it's actually, uh, some of it's in the intermediate section and uh, some of it's in the advanced section. Uh, but everything that I was playing on that, uh, that little uh, flamenco inspired solo uh, was actually, is actually in the program. So I don't hold anything back. I'm not one of those teachers that's trying to keep a little bit for myself to make sure that no one can, can touch my territory. I want to make sure everyone can do what I can do. Now one of the things that I was really surprised about in your um, in the testimonials that I've seen, mm -hmm. you consistently get his, your your teaching style is so effective that um, people can pick it up, move quickly through the program to get great uh, skills. Is that I mean, what are what are some of the secrets in doing that? What have you done that's that's so special? Well, one of the things that's very important for getting uh, anything together uh, related to guitar or musical instrument is knowing how to practice. I think it's important. I've, I tried uh, over the 14 years to try to anticipate all the, the different uh, questions that people from all different backgrounds and all different talent levels, there's uh, certain problems that everyone kept running into. And I tried to keep those things in mind as I was uh, demonstrating this so I could anticipate what some of those issues would be and be able to, to show how to troubleshoot that, how to identify it, how to fix it. And also how to, how to continue practicing on a, on a daily basis, uh, how to, you know, some of the, even the thought process. There's a, a book out there called The Inner Game of Music mm -hmm. because it's so important in, on how you think in terms of, of approaching something like, uh, like music. I really try to put as much thought into this as I could to make sure to anticipate what the different students from different backgrounds would need in order to be successful at this instrument as long as they practice. So in the beginner phase, there's, there's several hours of material. Right. And then in the intermediate, you said there's probably nine. And then in advance, we probably got another, what, five or six hours uh, of training. Like and so they're getting a tremendous education. Oh, absolutely. If, if, if I'm, if I'm, kind of reading between the lines, if somebody was to hire you as a tutor, mm -hmm. that would cost them several thousand dollars oh, to right. actually definitely to, to get that. But instead of them paying all of that, they're able to get these materials by going to Brad Barnes Presents. Brad Barnes Presents com. You got it. And that's it. And then they can pick it up. And I know you've got some specials for our audience, which I I appreciate actually. <laughs> so the the thing is is that they can they can do well. They can learn the process. What are some of the, uh, the, the, the next steps that people can begin? Once they begin the, the process, what should you have? What do you want them to do? Practice 30 minutes a day? I would say uh, uh, you want to get the, the videos. And you may want to watch through the entire thing, depending on how you learn. You, know, you may want to actually watch through the entire uh, DVD series just to, to know what's going to be coming up next and to kind of have a, a big picture of what it is that you're going to be learning. And then that's, you know, that's one style of learning. Some people are going to want to dive right into to the playing. I actually have some text in the beginning section at the, at, uh, at the beginning of some of the informational uh, uh, segments there so that they know where to jump to in case they want to dive right into it because I don't want them to think that they, they can't just dive right into the playing. I mean, there are a lot of guys out there that don't want to read the instruction manual. <laughs> All right? They just want to like, plug the VCR in, and they're determined to figure that out. And so it's... it's it is, it, that means that I'm not going to try to, to thwart their efforts to do that. I'm going to, you know, that's, this series is for them too. <laughs> that's great. Well, we're going to get a break here in a second. Go to bradbarnespresents.com. He has the solution for your need to learn how to play guitar. Whether you're 14 or, 400, or 40, you can learn how to play guitar with Brad Barnes at bradbarnespresents.com. Thanks. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Business Spotlight. I'm your host, Patrick Dewar. We've got a great show going today. Today we're talking about how to play 
guitar. My guest, Brad Barnes, bradbarnespresents.com, has a solution for your teenager to the adult that wants to learn how to play guitar. As you're hearing, it's him in the background playing just a little bit of an example of how technical he really takes it in playing guitar. One of the things that you really want to pay attention to is that Brad has done everything from the, the, through, from the beginner all the way to sharing stages with others, creating other masters of playing guitar. And that's one of the things that I'm really thankful about is because you're getting somebody that can really help you learn how to play and play efficiently. Brad, I'm so thankful for you being on the show. Thanks, Pat. You bet. So as we, as we go into this third section, one of the things that I really want to cover this time is who really will benefit the most? Who's going to benefit the most, Brad, from this type of material? Well, I mean, I've, really the question is uh, who wouldn't benefit uh, the most from it? Because there's quite a few people out there that I've been, I've been around guitar for a very long time. And my passion has really been teaching every bit as much as it's been uh, performing. And there are a few limitations. Uh, I don't cover a lot of classical guitar, in fact, almost none. And then I don't cover any left-handed guitar playing. Um, but that's, uh, so if you want to learn how to play right-handed, even if you're left-handed, and you don't really want to do too much of the classical thing, those are pretty, pretty much the only things that would, uh, that would not be covered here. For everyone else, uh, there's something for everybody. And there's actually a lot for everybody. I've been around uh, players. Let me uh, talk about the intermediate section for just a moment. I've been around a lot of players. I used to host open mics, and I've tried to help a lot of students get to the point where they can go out and they can perform. Right. Uh, now, open mics, you're not getting paid for, but they still want, you've got to get started somewhere. Sure. And there's, uh, there's a lot of issues that keep uh, tripping up so many different people, and I kept running into the same, thing that, the same things that people would ask me over and over and over again. Now, I was fortunate enough to, to be exposed to, the, to this, uh, in college, and for some reason, my mind just was able to put the pieces of the puzzle together. But what I wanted to do was bridge that gap so that everyone could put the pieces of, of this puzzle together. And I wanted to, to make sure that these people that wanted to be able to go out there and perform to play in bands, and whether it's garage bands or some original rock band that wanted to, to go out there and, and play a club, or, uh, or they wanted to play open mics, or they just wanted to be able to, to get together with their friends, but really be able to play music that sounds like music. Well, that's what, what I did. It's, there's so many different details that, uh, uh, in fact, I would consider the intermediate section kind of a buffet because so many people are coming from so many different places that this is a, a sec uh, the section, the intermediate section, where people can go and they can just go to this section or this segment. They can go to that segment. They can go to this lesson. They can go to that lesson. Or they can watch the entire thing, which I, I do recommend, even though it is you know, uh, somewhere around nine hours in, in length. But it answers so many of these questions that is going to allow people from all different backgrounds to be able to answer those questions and move on to the next level. That's exactly what it's there for. Well, one of the things, they've got a slide on that, on intermediate guitar with Brad Barnes. Yeah, that's it. So, you know, in looking at that, some of the things that you highlight are, are you know, 12 majors and minor keys. You, you talk about... Now, that's only a little bit of what's, uh, what's on there. Now, let me... Let me talk about this. Uh, uh, music is actually uh, historical. It wasn't like it was a group of people that got together and decided and made up a set of rules. In other words, there's a history behind it. And, the, and so because of that, I included a, a, what I call music history in a nutshell there. That right. goes back to Pythagoras, who was the Greek mathematician that actually came up with the first uh, mathematical formulas for stringed instruments. And then I go through uh, the rise of Christianity and the, the Roman Empire because that, they destroyed all the old pagan music and they started over. And that was a, a critical moment in Western music history, where if you ever study in college, that's, that's a, a very big moment. And then it, this kind of uh, rebuilds from there. And the reason I kind of go through that, and it's not a long segment, but I want people to understand that uh, what they're learning, there's a history, there's a historical context to it. And so if they kind of keep that in mind, then when I go on and I teach key signatures, I teach what all the notes are in, in major and minor scales, and also what, how the chords are derived from, uh, from those scales. Because the chords that they're, that they're learning, they, they, there's a system to how all these pieces fit together. And I wanted to make sure I went into a lot of detail on, on, on that, but also from a guitar standpoint so that they understand the things that are important to them. Right. Not going off in all these uh, you know, wild directions, but I want them to really have a sense of, of understanding on what it is that they're learning and how to apply it to you know, their rock music or their country music or their funk music or whatever. I think it's a real key, to, too, is that they're, they're learning how to apply these, the, this history, so to speak, and these lessons that have already been learned. And now you're just bringing it down into a focus where somebody can take that and insert those 
pieces into their own style so exactly they can really exactly. come out with something that's original and that's lively and that's entertaining. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, ultimately you're either playing for yourself or you're playing for someone else eventually. And that's going to make the difference. Wouldn't you agree? Well, absolutely. And, and most of the, this, after you, you learn this, most of the intermediate section is actually how do you apply this in the fretboard. I go into the cage system, which is a system on how to organize the fretboard in all 12 keys in major and minor up and down the fretboard. Right. I go into how you actually like superimpose scales on top of that, and, uh, including pentatonic scales and arpeggios, and how you can actually use that to come up with your own chord voicings and your own riffs. And also, you know, I'll go into how to, to read a chord chart, for instance. I go into, you know, 12 bar blues form. And how do you solo over t the 12 bar blues and make it sound like a solo, not like you're noodling with a bunch of scales? <laughs> and, and that's important because that's, uh, that's, that's, that trips a lot of people up. <laughs> and then, uh, and also modes, which is, seems to be mysterious, which is actually the medieval church modes, speaking of the, the music history. And, but how do you make it sound like the mode? And I actually go into all that detail. That's great. That's great. Well, I know we've got one more section, and I want to get into exactly how to connect with you in, in the next section. We'll be right back in just a few minutes, a few, a few seconds, and then we'll have this last section with Brad Barnes on bradbarnespresents.com, learning how to play guitar. Thanks. And welcome back to Business Spotlight. This is Pat Dewar, and my guest today is Brad Barnes of bradbarnespresents.com. It's all about learning how to play guitar. If you want to learn how to play guitar, you want to tap into the, the materials that Brad has put together at bradbarnespresents.com. Brad, I want to get into uh, this segment, really uh, talking about how people can connect to you, because they can go to your site, they can get your product. And uh, what do they really get when they, they do that? Well, in order to answer that question, I just also want to talk, uh, mention, again, I've talked about the beginning section and the intermediate section. There's an advanced section to this as well. Sure. And I wanted to make sure that I went into a lot of things in there that I think that are important for a lot of people that want to learn how to, to make money uh, at guitar. They, at least they want to be at the level where they could you know, play in a top 40 band. Uh, or a dance band, or they could play in, a, uh, in an original band that really got some, some attention with some very good technique. I mean, Excellent. I'm including everything in there from how to, to play shredding guitar solos. I go into that a lot because I like to shred. Uh, but also, how do you play funk rhythms? A lot of rock players don't know how to like, connect with funk and R&B and that type of thing. And I think they should because that's great music. Well, it also broadens their horizons for more, more opportunities for engagements and more money. Absolutely. And you speaking agree? of which, uh, another thing that's very important is how do you uh, survive a jazz gig? playing both uh, uh, swing jazz and Latin jazz. Now, this isn't about how to become a jazz expert, you know, but this is how do you survive a jazz gig because you're in a position where you have to play whatever the audience wants. So there's so many different things in the advanced section that, um, that, uh, that are tackled here. And I know you wanted me to answer a specific question, but I just oh, wanted good. to talk about that for just, uh, for just a moment. However, you were uh, asking what uh, do people, what is everyone going to get with this, this package? Yeah, well, I mean, the, we go to Brad Barnes Presents, we get the package. Right. We get, we've got a, now a tool that we can go through at our own pace. When, uh, I'm glad that we, we went in over the advanced stuff because I know that for somebody who really engages, really falls in love with playing guitar, they'll probably want to share it with others. And ideally, they may even want to make money, <laughs> which isn't a bad deal. Definitely so, not. you know, what are some of the keys that they would get as far as, you know, somebody's finished the program, what do you think, what do you see as their takeaways? Well, everyone is going to approach guitar from a, a different standpoint. And I think everyone's going to come into this with their own goals. Uh, there are some people that they just want to be able to, to play songs at a campfire. I've, talked to, I've taught a lot of people like that. And, that's, and this, uh, the beginning section is going to be uh, excellent for that person. There's, that person, if they continue with it, may want to be able to, uh, to play with other guitar players and be able to, uh, to play maybe a little bit more complex styles, maybe be able to play solos, but still kind of in a more casual context. Well, they can do that with the beginning and the intermediate section. And there are people that, uh, where their goal is they want to be the spotlight, they want, uh, they want that spotlight on them. Right. They want to be center stage and they want to be in front of a lot of people. Uh, you know, and, that's, and that's great because I've, I, you know, I'm the same way. Right. 
And so uh, I definitely relate to that. And so they would definitely want uh, the beginning and the intermediate and the advanced. However, what I've discovered is that there are a lot of people that want a little bit of, that's offered in all of these things. They want to be able to play the shredding solos that are covered in the advanced section. Uh, whether they want to go make money at it or not, because that's just what they, they love. Maybe they like a band like a Vin Sevenfold or something, sure. and they want to be able to play solos like that. Well, that's, uh, you know, that, that, uh, a lot of those things are covered in the advanced section. Some of them are covered in the intermediate section, including some of the thought processes and how you put a solo together and, and chord progressions. And, and uh, also, the, uh, those people may uh, have just played uh, metal stuff or rock stuff, and maybe they, they want the, the beginning section because they need to fill in some of those basic gaps because all they, you know, they just sat down with the tablature and were playing along with their friends. So really, I think that uh, there's going to be a lot of people that, that know exactly what they want, and maybe they'll just get the beginning, maybe they'll just get the intermediate, maybe they'll just get the advanced, but there's a whole lot of people that are going to want the entire package because they're going to want things that are uh, throughout that entire series. Well, and I know you give them a little um, discount if they buy the whole thing. And, oh, absolutely, and then it's, definitely. And then it's there for not only themselves, but they're either their little brother or maybe they're the relative or some mm -hmm. friend that, that can take up those as, as they progress through them, then they can begin to hand them off and use them for uh, training tools for people around them. Oh, absolutely, definitely. And they, they can kind of become a, a hub in their neighborhood and in their family. That's right. So that they're, they're the person that everyone comes to when they have guitar questions. They can sit them down and, and uh, they can let them you know, borrow that one CD. Uh, they may value the, the series too much to give the whole thing away. Yeah, I hope they, they do you're going to find that there's so much information in this. And, and one of the things that I see that you've done also is that you really shortcut a lot of the learning curve. Um, people don't have to make as many mistakes, uh, whether it's beginning, intermediate, or advanced. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, absolutely, definitely. I mean, I had to make a tremendous amount of mistakes, Pat, uh, in order to, to figure these, uh, all these different things out. And I wanted to make sure that all of the, the students that were going to be watching this did not have to make the same mistakes that I did. I know it probably sounds like you uh, parenting your, your child or something. Yeah, oh, it's, it, no, it's, it's all good. It's one of those things where people have to purchase wisdom. Some people have done it for us, and now we get to pay dollars instead of hard knocks. Exactly. So, <laughs> one of the things is we're, is we're finishing up here. What should people do now? Well, uh, what they should do absolutely is to go to bradbarnespresents.com and buy this series. Uh, if you guys know that you just want the beginning or the intermediate or the advanced, then you can, you can do that. But like I said, you might want to look through on, on what's actually in there, and you may want to go ahead and get the, the entire series. Because uh, even the entire series, uh, which would be discounted uh, for sure for you guys, that that would actually be so much less expensive than trying to get all this information over a period of months or years from a guitar instructor that's, that's competent. Very good. Well, Brad, thank you so much for being on the show. This is... Uh, Thank you, business Pat. Spotlight. Yeah, it's Business Spotlight. I'm Patrick Dewar. I look forward to seeing you guys on our next show. Make sure you go to bradbarnespresents.com. You'll always be thankful from then on. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time.